كوكو دي كوين سلام يا لوز مرحبا حبيباتي اوه هولا انا قاعد ماي فون رينج جست از اي واز جيتنج ستارتد ان اني ويز وير اول جود وير باك ام توداي اي وونت تو تو جايز اباوت رامضان اي فيلمد ذس سيميلر كايند اوف فيديو ام ماي فيرست يير اون يوتيوب اند اي دونت ثينك اي فيلمد ون لاست يير could be wrong. I don't think I filmed one last year. Um, and it's always nice to stay in touch base with you guys because Ramadan is a is a big month in my life. <laughs> it has been for a while. Um, and there are a lot of you that are new since I filmed that first video. So I thought I would give you a little bit of a like a background on what Ramadan is, what it means to me. Um, also a bit of a like, not a heads up, but um, a moment to chat <laughs> about what me on this space might look like in the next month or so. Um, so yeah, let's have a chat. If if I can find the link to the the original video that I um, made, I'll post that down below. I might even go rewatch it just for the nostalgic sake, I guess. Nostalgia. Anyways, I'm in a weird head. I feel like I say this every video where I'm like, I can't speak. Maybe I just need to come to the conclusion that like, I just get too excited and I lose my language ability. Maybe maybe that's just a thing about me that I need to acknowledge. Um, so. Basics of it all, Ramadan is um, one month out of the year, so it's 30 days, um, and it, it fluctuates based on the uh, lunar calendar. So when I first started fasting when I was little, it was like November, December, but now <laughs> it's in June. Um, so the days are a lot longer. In certain parts of the world, um, the days don't actually shift that much, but if you live in North America, like I remember when I first started fasting, we would break fast at like 4.30 p.m., it's closer to 10 p.m. <laughs> now, so the days do shift in length, but it's, it's a lunar calendar month. And um, it is um, kind of a month of reflection and um, time to spend kind of praying and um, reflecting. I said reflection twice. I get weird. So the problem is that, like... <sighs> We've had these these conversations about faith versus spirituality. I never want to sound preachy because that's not what I'm about, right? Like I totally want everyone, I want everyone to embrace everyone else for who they are. So I get weird a little bit when I talk about my faith uh, because I feel like I never want to be preachy. I just want to kind of be honest and open. So um, yeah. There's that. But anyways, it's it's a month really dedicated to fasting. So fasting, so no eating or drinking between sunup and sundown. Um, there are some extra prayers throughout the day. A lot of people really spend time kind of reading more um, of the Quran, which is the, the book. You know, there's the Bible, the Torah, there's the Quran. Um, they spend a lot more time kind of just with their families and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a really a month of reflection. Um, so for me, what Ramadan has always stood for, because when I was a kid, like when you're a kid, a lot of the things I think that you do, especially in your family unit, are just because everyone else does them and, and you want to be part of it and it's, you know, what you do to belong. And as you grow older, you kind of pick and choose what works for you and works for your heart and your soul and all that kind of stuff. So as the years have, have gone on and I've continued to opt into fasting every year, the reason that I do it personally is because I think it's a really valuable experience for me to check myself. Um, it reminds me of how grateful I am for the small things. So I can forget, <laughs> I can go on a rant about some really insignificant first world problems. And while I'm complaining, I, I like will wholeheartedly even vocally acknowledge that these are first world problems, that like there's so many more difficult things. Um, and I'm not in any way trying to be ungrateful like when I'm talking to friends or family or whatever. But at the end of the day, it is something that is taxing on my heart, that's tiring me, that's making me sad. Um, and so when I get through Ramadan, those things, I acknowledge them, they still kind of make me sad, but because I have the perspective of having gone through all the fasting and the reflection, they seem less kind of, of heavy on my heart. So for me, Ramadan is not only a chance to remind myself of how blessed I am for little things like a glass of water when I'm thirsty or a nice meal with a friend or just anything. It, it's weird how really spending that time and focusing on um, kind of a, a, an endeavor that's difficult and that's challenging, it just really broadens your perspective. So that's what it means to me, and that's why I continue to opt into it every year, because I feel like it really does just good for my heart. Um, and yeah, that's kind of my little spiel on it. Um, I also really like that we also we tend to get together more as a big family and like have share meals together and spend more time together, so it's always really nice. Um, I've kind of glazed over things, so if anyone has any questions or any qu uh, stories or any whatever, share those with us below. 
Um, the other thing I did want to say is that because I'm fasting, my energy levels are kind of all over the place. So I'm trying to pre-record as much as possible. So if you see videos where like one of my points of positivity is like a really great glass of iced tea that I had, don't be like, oh, weren't you fasting? Uh, it's pre-recorded. <laughs> um, also, if like there are a day or two where I miss videos or if I go a couple days longer from answering comments, it's because we're just trying to manage and juggle everything. So that was the kind of little word I wanted to put in at the end of it. So yeah, um, let me know if you guys fast for any different reasons, um, what you do when your heart needs a little bit of a boost. Um, if you have any questions, comments, all that kind of good stuff down below. I'm doing some quick points of positivity. I actually think, I think I have to go. Uh, anyways, <laughs> good timing. Points of positivity. My first is these kind of chatty videos. They always uh, leave a great big smile on my face. My second is this lipstick, which is Tool by by Colourpop. And then my third is some iced tea in my Captain America mug. Can we just... Got to the theatre for three bucks. I love it. Um, so yeah, that is it for me today. As always, because I'm not making you guys smile. Thank you for hanging out. I will talk to you soon. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.